guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be installing a VTEC conversion kit on a P06 ECU. Um, what we have here is the P06 ECU, obviously. Um, essentially what you're doing is converting the P06 ECU into a P28 ECU, which is the commonly used ECU to tune VTEC engines with um, because they're readily available, of course, or used to be at least. Um, the kit that we're going to be installing is a kit that I purchased from a store called BM Tune or BM Devs, which is out in Quebec, Canada. They offer a wide range of products for the OBD1 ECU at very fantastic prices. So if you guys are interested in chip burners or uh, chip kits or VTEC conversion kits, I highly recommend uh, checking out that site. Uh, so I'm going to leave a link in the description below for you guys to check out. Um, as well, before we get started, I wanted to give a shout out to my friend Germs, uh, Little Japanese Hot Rod on Instagram for hooking me up with this P06 ECU. Um, so now let's just get started. All right, guys. So before you get started, make sure you buy the right kit for the right ECU. This is a 1720 board, which is noted up here. So we're installing a 1720 VTEC conversion kit on here. They are different. So I believe there are three different kits for the different boards. Uh, so make sure you get the right one. Today we're going to be installing the 1720 kit, obviously, because we have a EC with a 1720 board. All right, guys. So this is what comes with the kit. I had to label them myself because they don't come labeled, but they're pretty easy to identify. So you have your um, basically 820 ohm resistor here, which is going to go into slot R67. This is the RM11 resistor board. This is the IC14 high side switch. This is the D11 uh, diode. This one is just a piece of wire basically for the J10 jumper. This one here is your one uh, microfarad capacitor for C60. And this right here is your Q26 transistor. So these are all the uh, parts that are going to be installed into the ECU. All right, guys, I do have a note that you do have to chip your ECU before you're able to complete this whole thing because in order for you to run VTEC on here, you need to burn a VTEC map on your chip. So it does need to be chipped. This is on top of chipping the ECU. So uh, if you guys are looking for a video on chipping, check out my other video on how to chip the ECU, but it's the same process. This one is just going to be converting this into VTEC. So this ECU already is chipped. As you can see, the socket's there. So we are, we are just only adding the VTEC conversion kit on this. All right, guys. So before we get started, I'm going to go over where every single component's going to go uh, so that you guys know where to put them. So we'll start off with the easiest one, which is the D11 diode, which is right here in this spot here. Next, we're going to go to the IC14, which is the high side switch that goes right here. Also, one thing to note is if you have high side switches on IC16 or IC15, it means your ECU is automatic. You essentially could remove those and after you've converted to manual and pop one of those in here and you'll have a spare as well. Um, the next component is the one microfarad capacitor, which is C60 is going to go right here. Your J10 jumper is right here. Um, the Q26 uh transistor is right under this bar here you can see it says q26 right here now the rm11 which is the resistor uh, board is going to go in this spot here some ecus might have it some might if you don't have it you're gonna have to install the uh, board here or there are some kits out there that have that come with a bunch of resistors that you would wire up here but this kit was surprisingly enough is pretty cool. It has a board that is a resistor pack board that you can put right in this spot there. And the last little piece is R67, which is this second spot right here, where, which is where it's gonna go. So that is the 820 ohm resistor that goes right into this spot here. So let's just get started. We're gonna have to start by desoldering some of these points because obviously they're soldered. Um, and then we will uh, you know, put the components in. All right, for desoldering, again, uh, we could just use some desoldering wick, which is what I have here. As well, we're gonna be using a pump to pump it out. So this suction pump will suck out the uh, desolder. So I'm gonna go ahead and desolder all this first because it's gonna be 
too much work for you guys to see me just desoldering all of it. So we're gonna do that first, and then I'm, we're gonna get back to installing components. All right, to quickly show you guys how to desolder, we're gonna start with that diode um, D11, which is in this spot right here, uh, this, these two points right here. So basically get your soldering iron real hot, and then you're gonna use this pump, you would dab it, and then you just suck it out by pushing the button. Like that. So some of the solder's already gone out. I mean, sucked up. It's not gonna be perfect, but you gotta slowly and slowly just suck it out like that. Uh, and then to use the desoldering wick, you will heat it up and then you're gonna dab it on there and continue heating it. So, there you go, the hole is revealed. So that's how you would do it, just nice and slow, um, the same for this one. All right, so we're gonna start off by installing the diode, which is the D11. So as you can see with, with the diode here, you can see this gray bar or silver bar, that is gonna match up with the line on the D11 side. So that's the way that the diode's supposed to flow. So you're gonna put it in like this. And then we'll solder that in place. So let's do that and then we'll move on to the next component. All right, next we're gonna put in the R67, which is the resistor, the 820 ohm resistor here. This is not polarity sensitive, so you could just put it in any way and it would be fine. Just like that. And then we're gonna solder that in place. All right, so next piece on the list is your uh, high side switch, which is the IC14 there. So we're just gonna plunk that in, and then we're going to solder that in place as well, like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and solder it. All right, now we're up to basically C60, which is this uh, one microfarad capacitor. So this is polarity sensitive. The longer side, which should be marked with an X, which it's very hard to see, but you can see that it's longer here. Um, this side goes onto the positive side, so make sure that this is on the correct side. So the longer side, as you can see, should go in like that. As well, since it's in the same spot, we're going to put in the uh, J10 jumper as well, which is just a piece of wire essentially. So I'm just going to put that in as well, and then we're going to solder that in place. All right, now we're on to the Q26 transistor, which is this little piece here. Um, so the writing is on the flat side. You see it's curved on the back. The writing on the flat side, the writing will face this way. So this way, this is how you would put it in. So we're gonna pop that in there, and then we're gonna solder that in. All right, now we're down to the last final piece, which is this resistor board here. Now I'll show you guys how that goes on. So as you can see from left to right, there's only three points that you need to connect here. One, two, three, and then the final point. And on this resistor board here, it's also kind of marked one, two, three, and then the final point. And those are the three that, you, those are the four points that you have to connect. Um, this is the first time I've ever seen one of these cool resistor boards. So it came with these pins here. So you would just install and solder these on, and then you'll just install the board on to the thing. So I'm just gonna do that real quick and I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. So there you go, we got the R11 resistor pack all completed, uh, installed, as you can see, the three on the left and one on the right. Um, so that's basically all the components that we've installed. So D11, the uh, high side switch, there's the R67 resistor right over here. Um, there is the microfarad capacitor, the jumper, the Q26 um, transistor, and I think that's it. 
Um, but that's basically all converted to uh, VTEC now. Uh, I'm just gonna snip all the, the wiring on the back. As you can see, it's all really messy. And then we're basically done. All right, so final step is basically scrub it, uh, all the areas where you've soldered with some um, rubbing alcohol or uh, isopropyl alcohol. And then you're gonna conformal coat all of the areas that are now exposed because obviously the conformal coating would have burned off. So I'm just gonna use this conformal coating pen that I've used before and we're just gonna conformal coat everything. There you go guys, here's the Foley VTEC converted P06ECU using the uh, BM Tune VTEC conversion kit uh, for the 1720 board. So that's basically it for this video guys. So if you guys are looking for um, a chip kit or VTEC conversion kits and stuff, check out BM Tune uh, or BM Devs. Um, as mentioned, I'm gonna link it in the description below. Anyways, that's basically it for this video guys. I hope it helps you guys out. If you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe, and share my videos. As always guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.